Hi guys, so I'm popping on today um, because I wanted to show you a video of some, a little project I'm doing. So I have all of these Savvy Mineral colors that I totally love um, and I wanted to bring them with me on our trip to Europe, but if you see all of these containers, by the time I've got a blush, a bronzer, my veil, and some... Um, shadows in there that's a lot of space and traveling with loose makeup it all ends up in the lid so what I did was I bought online on Amazon this cool little makeup case and it comes with these empty trays let me get one out that just magnet in they're about the size and depth of a quarter maybe the depth of two quarters but um, they just magnet in there like that. You can totally move them around and rearrange them. And you can fill them with um, makeup, powdered makeup. And so I'm gonna show you how I'm making these little palettes. I already did this. This is Times Square that I use as a brow filler. Um, it's great for dark blondes. This is Wonderlust that I use in the corner of my eyes. Um, and this is the blush that I'm using. Um, oops, here we go. I do believe you're blushing. So um, I've already made those and I'm about to make a couple more. So if you can see here, I'll see if I can zoom in. Um, you can see that in here, which is one of the little lids, I have a bunch of the powder. What I did was I turned um, it upside down and got as much powder as I could into here with the lid on. And then I've just scooped this, um, actually using a nail file, into here. And now you can see like this pile, I'm not sure if you can get the depth on it, but it is a very tall um, because this is super fluffy and it's going to um, compact down a lot. And so here is some isopropyl alcohol and I am just using a pipette, but whatever view you've got is fine. And I'm just gonna put like about 10 drops in here. If you don't have a pipette, you can use something else like a measuring cup or a teaspoon, or even just the lid of the bottle. And then I'm gonna take a toothpick um, and stir this. And hopefully you can see this. I'm just getting all of the here, I'll move it over here a bit. Just getting all of the dry bits, mixing them in. Um, and you want it to be a relatively thick paste. Um, if you can see here, like this is a pretty thin paste, particularly at the edges. You wanna make sure that you're evenly mixing um, mixing it all in together but that pile that was so heaped up like a little volca volcano off the top has essentially um has essentially all disappeared so ooh, and you can see a little bit of it was overflowing so i'm gonna turn the lid upside down i'm gonna put the lid back on tap some more into the lid this is gonna take a while because i have um only uncovered about, can you see how I have tape over half of the hole so it doesn't come out too much? So I'm gonna pause the video while I tap out some more and then you can see the next phase. Okay, so for part two of my video, you can see um, I tapped it all, I got a lot more into the container and I'm just gonna use, you can use a teaspoon or whatever you got. As I said, I had a nail file, so that's what I'm using. And I'm just carefully scooping more of the product into this tray. And again, it's heaped up really, really, really tall. I'm not even sure if you can tell how high that is. And then I'm gonna put a few more drops of the rubbing alcohol in there. Um, and then give that a stir and see if I need more um, either alcohol or 
of this veil. Now the veil is a highlighter, um, so it's got a high amount of sheen in it and it's really pretty. I use it like on my cheekbones and um, under my eyes. It's super, super pretty and it's very light. I love using it particularly um, in the summer. So you can see I just carefully worked it in from the edges and I'm getting this um, mixed pretty evenly. The alcohol does evaporate, so you wanna work a little bit quickly, but if it gets too, um, too thick, um, you can always just add a little more alcohol, or if it gets too thin, equally, you can, um, just add a little more product. It's super, super easy. Um, okay, so I've mixed that and I've got most of that in there and I've tried not to waste too much. I've scraped off the toothpick on the edge and now I'm gonna take a piece of toilet paper, one square. I'm folding it over and over again in fourths. Um, now this has a pattern on it and so in some of the ones that I've pressed earlier I actually ended up with a pattern so if you don't want a pattern on the top you might want to use plain um, but you want something that's pretty absorbent here because you're going to use this to press the shadow into its shape and already if you can see the edges of the toilet paper are getting damp as they soak up the liquid um, so I just press that for a moment. Can you see the ring of alcohol as it's coming off there? And then I can gently pull this out and you can see there's my done palette. Sweet. And so now I have highlight and blush in, oops, in my little set. Yay. And I'm going to now do my contour. Um, so I'll do my bronzer and a couple more shadows and then I'll have a whole set to take with me and I won't be taking all that bulk to Europe. I hope this um, is a handy demonstration. I made these ones last night and they're already ready to use. You just need to let them dry for um, just a short period and you're good to go. Hope this is helpful, bye.